Hey guys, it's me, Misty with Rusty Relics. And in today's video, I'm gonna be redoing this table. I'm gonna paint it in caviar, DC Bell chalk paint caviar, and I'm gonna be redoing the top with some really pretty decoupage paper. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with some Boss Clear Primer. I wanted to paint the top of this table with drop cloth so I could put my decoupage paper on a brighter surface. So I just went ahead and primed the entire table before I painted it. I've been using this clear boss primer a lot here lately. I've been using it on some raw wood projects that I have. We've done some benches and uh, risers and little boxes and stuff like that. And when you're working with raw wood, the raw wood will like absorb all of your paint and your chalk paint and then it makes it harder to distress or do any kind of technique like that with it. So I've been priming it with the clear primer so that way I could do, you know, any color and and if I wanted the raw wood to still show, it would allow the raw wood to still show. So I've been using it a lot. I like it a lot. So here I'm going to go through and do two coats of the caviar. It's just a real black color and I know it kind of already looks like the base of this table is black but it's really not it's that red wood it's just the lighting but this table was really easy to paint uh, with the primer being on it it allowed my paint to just really grab on and adhere really good so I was really happy with that this the legs of this table has a lot of detail so I used my Dixie Bell mini flat brush um, and it allowed me to get into all of those detail but to keep the paint smooth. Um, as always I start out with a, a damp paintbrush and I have my continuous mister and I just use it throughout the painting process. On this part like okay so I'm really just focused on the base of the table not so much the top um, because when I go through and paint the top with the white, I'm, I don't really want to get like my white paint on top of the black. So I wasn't worried about the very top part of the table. I was just more focused on the base of the table because I'll come back through with the caviar and finish up the top after I get my decoupage paper on it. So here's where I'm coming through with the drop cloth just to give me that bright background so that way when I put the decoupage paper on there it really pops. Now this decoupage paper is, I think it's gorgeous, but it was definitely wide enough to go on this table, but it wasn't quite long enough. You can see that those white edges right there, they just went to the edge of the table. So it was really almost too short, but I'm going to show you how I fix that. Um, so I'm just using some Mod Podge and I'm just putting a thin coat of it on the top of the table and then I am laying my decoupage paper down. So I'm just keeping it nice and tight and full, um, smooth but I am going to come through and lay a piece of plastic that I just had laying around and I'm going to use my brayer and I'm going to just roll it on top of the decoupage paper to make sure that I have all of the wrinkles out and any possible air bubbles or anything like that that could be under the paper I'm just gonna roll it smooth so that way it's completely sealed to the table and then you let that dry it takes about you know 30 40 minutes to dry all the way um, and then we'll come through and we'll sand off the excess decoupage paper is which that's really simple I'm just using some fine grit paper and I'm going in a downward motion, um, not a lot of pressure at all, and I'm just sanding until the paper comes off. And you can see it just comes off really easy. So this is where I'm going to come through and cover up those white strips that you see and also finish off my table around the edges where I didn't paint it. So I'm just using the bell brush and I'm just with a little bit of paint, I'm kind of dabbing it all the way around the table making sure I get all of the sides and everything but then dabbing it to the edges of the decoupage paper around the table and trying to give it that feathered look so that way it looks like it's just going into the image. 
but I also use my bell brush to kind of bring some of that caviar into the middle of the table to give it that contrast and kind of darken it up a little bit so that way everything is just tied in together. So after it's completely dry, I do seal this table up with a coat of flat uh, clear coat and that's my finished project. This table was a lot of fun. It was a really easy piece to do. I really love the decoupage paper that I used on this piece. Um, I would like to find more tables to use it on. And then that little dog that you see in the corner, that's our Lily girl. She's our little Chihuahua. But that's it, guys. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.